What is up all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the shed. It has been a long time, but that's alright. So, back in the shed is the big blue bus. And today, we're going to cut all the hoops off the bull bar and change it up a little bit. Get sick of how it looks and got cold feet. So, let's just get stuck into it. I'm going to strip the UHF off, the spotties, take the winch off, and then cut the hoops off, weld some new plate in, we're going to shape up the bottom a little bit on either wing and uh, see how we go. There's also a lovely dent on this side which you can't probably see but we're going to try and pull that out and uh, see how we go. So stick around and enjoy. So I just fiddled around off camera and got the bar off the car. So I could have cut the hoops off it when it was here, but it's a bit, I don't know. For the shot, surely, we cut it off the car. So, yeah. I now I'm gonna clean this up. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, now you may wonder, why am I cutting the hoops off my car? Well, when I got the car, it used to have side, scrubbies um, prior to me buying it and when I bought it they weren't on there and those pipes are actually really rusted out on the inside if I can fish out a chunk of rust there you go so that's all just corroding on the inside um, and I was like well it's time to cut them off because I'm sick of them and I want to go for a different look on the car and why not so the idea is to change some hoops on here Finally put some scrub bars on this. I attempted scrub bars a while back and absolutely botched it. So we're going to do a bit of a redo. See if we can't get it to look good. So just in the process of drilling out the old holes. So that was the pipe that was in there. And all I've done is got myself my uh, hole saw set. Put a center in for a guide. And the outside actually sits over that really snugly. And yeah, just took some time, drilled it out, cut the well off, and all we do is grow on it flat now, so that's pretty good. I'll patch that hole uh, with a bit of plate. I just bent up my middle hoop on the bender. Um, I didn't record it because I have a full video on making rock sliders like those ones. Um, I'll show you how to bend pot, but there's plenty of videos on YouTube how to do it. Um, so these are the measurements that I have for my pipe. Now, all I did was I wanted it to be the same height as my top of my grill, which is 300 mil from the bar from where it's currently sitting to um, the grill. So that's not the bar's not quite sitting just right. So we'll have to adjust that. It's probably about 30 mil on that. Um, but all I did was there's my hoop. There's my hoop, and then all I did was trace it with a bit of chalk, measure 300mm down, draw a horizontal line, and that gets me my width of where it will intersect on the bull bar. So, and if I come over here, all I did was find center, don't know if you can see that, and then half of uh, 1110 is 555, so which puts me there for one, and there for the other. So, We'll see how that goes. I'll um, yeah, mock it all up. Um, but I think it'll be in a little bit more because my height's wrong. So I'll just adjust that and then bring it in accordingly. It has been a little while and I finally have the new hoop on. It's not welded, it's just held up by those magnets. And I even chucked the spotties in there to give us a bit of a look. Um, now I, I mucked up the pipe a little bit. I ended up cutting it off thinking I was gonna put it through the bar about 40 mil. But I'm not being flush, so that was my mistake. And I ended up drilling a little hole, but that didn't work, so I just sort of drilled a bigger hole. And I was like, I'll just fill it full of weld um, on both sides. So basically, I wanted to go through it because it's a lot stronger than just welding it to the top. Um, easiest way, if you don't want to do drill a hole, you just cut it at the angle you want and just weld it flat to the plate. But if you have it protruding through a bit, um, then it's a lot stronger. So I'll end up welding the top 
and the bottom, and I'll probably put a cap on the bottom to stop any water getting in there. After a busy night on the bender and the grinder, this is what I got to last night before the rain kicked in. Um, so I've got the hoops are just sitting in there. Um, this is how I think I like it. Um, I like the look of it being all straight. Um, don't get me wrong, the angry's eyes look good, but once I did this, I was like, oh, I think this looks pretty neat. Um, so, yeah, the idea is to tackle the hoops on while it's on the car, because um, it's bolted on, I can get some measurements make sure it's all sitting right um, and then I can eye it to all the body lines and make sure it looks good when it's on the car and then we'll take it off. It's been a little bit in between uh, shots. Um, I've done a lot of grinding and a lot of welding to this bar. Um, I figured off camera because you guys don't really need to see me welding that stuff. Um, I've welded a new flange around the side. Um, as you can see on here, I've got a bit of bog. Um, just bogging up all of those spots for paint where I ground out and filled all the old holes in. Um, everything's all welded off. The pipes all welded in there. Um, I've capped off the ends on the inside so no water gets in there. So I've just bent up, um, or just cut out and bent up those um, UHF aerial brackets. Um, so this is what they look like flat, and then this is what it looks like bent up. Um, so as you can see, it's, they're pretty simple. Um, so this long side is a side that I weld to the back of to the bull bar, um, and the bottom is what sticks out. And I drill the hole once it's on the car, otherwise they tend to bend. Um, but if you're wondering, the middle measurement between the two scores is 80 mil at this end, and the bottom side is 50, um, and they're 50 mil wide, and then I've just got the wings are 20 mil. Then all you got to do is just put a radius on this so it sits on the pipe nice, drill your hole, and I tend to cut the back of them out, so then I can take the UHF off the wool bar without having to take the whole wire out, um, otherwise they're a real pain. Um, otherwise guys, uh, God bless. Uh